Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. Alright guys, let's do this problem that says the uniform rod AB has a mass of 40 kilograms. Determine the force in the cable when the rod is in the position shown and it's a smooth color at A. So problem's very easy to do. So let's get to it. So we have to first draw the free body diagram and all the forces reacting. So we know we have a force going vertically here at B. There is no horizontal force at B because this is a wheelie which is roll over. Now they told us that this is smooth. Smooth means that there is no reaction going up and down because it would just slide. So there is only a vertical reaction at A. So let's call it F of A. Now we know we have the weight right at the center of this rod. And we know that the weight is equal to the mass times the acceleration of gravity. Now the mass times the acceleration of gravity is 40 kilograms times 9.81. And this is equal to 392.4 newtons for the weight. And the last force that we have is the tension of the rope, which we'll call T. And that's it. With the free body diagram, we can, we can actually solve all this problem. So we know that the sum of the forces at X is equal to zero. Therefore, the sum of the forces at X are F of A going to the right I'm going to assume that positive x goes to the right and positive y goes up. So f of a going to the right minus the tension, t. Now the weight and f of b are acting um, vertically. Now we know that the sum of the forces at y is equal to 0. And in y we have f of b going up minus w going down. Now we know w, which is found right here. So this function tells us that f of b is equal to w, and we know that f of b is equal to 392.4 newtons. And the last equation that we're going to use is the sum of the moments at a is equal to zero. Now I'm going to assume that counterclockwise is positive. So this is equal to we are right here, we are at 8, right? And we need to calculate the moment. So before I do that, I'm going to draw a triangle right here. This is the rod. And you know that this angle right here is 60 degrees, right? We know that this is A and this is B. And let's call this X and let's call this Y. If this is 60, you know that this is 30 degrees because 60 plus 30 is 90 degrees and this is a 90 degree angle, correct? And we know that the length of the rod is three, three meters right here. So X is equal to three sine of 30, which is 1.5. And Y is equal to three cosine of 30, which is 2.6. So, we know this distance, x, and we know this distance, y. Let's call this x. And let me erase this that I just drew to avoid confusion. So this is x and this is y. We're going to need these distances to, to, to be able to do this equation easily. So back to our equation, some of the moments at A right here is equal to zero. So you know that the weight is creating a moment of the weight times half of X. Half of X is 
x is 1.5, so half of x is 0.75. And that is negative because it's turning this strand of turn it clockwise. Plus f of b, which is this reaction right here, times x, which is 1.5, and it's trying to turn it counterclockwise, so it's positive. And the last one is the tension right here, which is trying to turn this arm, which has a length of y, t times 2.6. Why is it negative? Because it's trying to turn it clockwise. So now that we have the equation, let's just do it. This is basic algebra, 392.4. We know the weight, negative times 0.75. That is a five, I swear. Plus 392.4 times 1.5 minus T times 2.6. So solve for T and you should get that is equal to 113.13 Newtons. And that is the tension of the cable to have the rod at the position shown, final answer.